good morning uh, today I'm talking about examination system um, system detail project uh, so first of all let's talk about uh, what is the home page that is the home page of the online examination system uh, that is the home page now talking about the login page what is the functionality of the login page so let's to open the login page from the uh, solution explorer that is the design page of the login page uh, this login page is for administrator when we click on the button the code behind page is open these are the namespaces you know about the namespaces namespaces is a container of class enumeration delegates so a namespace contain classes simply so i have used system dot data dot oledb uh, which is provide different types of classes to make the connection with the database uh like the oledb connection oledb command so by the constructor that is the constructor login public login is a constructor name uh, constructor is called when the page is load the first time is object is created the constructor is load then db connection through oledb connection and uh, oledb command we can create a connection to the access database the configuration manager dot connection string connection is a connection which is exists in the web dot config file okay so now when we click on the button after uh, entering the value into the text boxes the select asterisk from admin here admin is the table name that is admin okay when we click and open the username is admin and password is also admin but the column name is username and the password <coughs> so if in the design view the user id username id username and password so retrieve the overall record by the select query that is select select a strict from admin that is retrieve whole query whole table and by the reader rd dot read method we can check one by one a data from the table that is when we click on the button admin is there admin is there when we click on the login button check the username and passwords which is exist in the admin table that is admin and admin and proceed to login that is the page is open username and password is okay then session gets email rd is a reader data reader which takes uh, old table of the username column so in the rd of username i have admin and the session gets in the email email is a key of the session so get the username the what is the username that is the admin now if username and password is okay then flag is false and redirect to admin and question dot aspx page that is admin and question dot aspx now enter some data here now move uh, to the admin of the question dot aspx page admin admin is a folder name or you can say the directory name and question dot aspx is a page name
yeah that is the question dot aspx page the code behind these all are the namespaces but i have used only the single namespace that is system dot data dot oledb oledb contains the two classes the which is already discussed in the previous uh, time so when we click on the log, uh, register uh, add question button the code is run okay because i want to insert the question into the database table that is the question table so i have here we use insert command insert into command with the proper subject id and the correct answers these are the column name that is the question answer 1 answer 2 answer 3 these are the questions here and put the uh, option number 1 option answer 1 answer 2 answer 3 and answer 4 what is the p tag so uh, here is my answer one is a paragraph tag that is the correct answer uh, correct answer is one and the subject id is one because the sub what is the subject id the subject id is a denoted to uh, sub uh, subjects which is in uh, available in the subject table that is there uh, subject ID is one, two, three, four, and the subject name is this. Insert into the question table, and these are the column name, question answer one, answer two, answer three, answer four, correct answer, and all of these. <coughs> that is there, uh, correct answer and subject ID. These are the column name, and. and these are the value what do you mean by the at the rate at the rate is a verbatim literal through this we can uh, make the proper syntax and qs is a parameter uh, qs a1 a2 get the value from the text boxes so here q text dot text is a text box name id of the text box and text is inserted uh, from the browser so what is the q text check it in the design view that is the id property of the text okay so inserted the value into the qs a1 a2 a3 parameters that is option text after uh, taking the value in by the parameter you can initiate the connection to the command and execute run query by the execute run query method you can insert proper value into the database if your proper value is inserted then a is updated with the one and adds question successfully message display on the label okay then next module is check result what is the url is c result then c result is a page name okay so when the page is load the bind the grid result is here some columns result date result answer something there when the page is load the result is appeared with the command execute reader method the bind the grid view with the reader okay that is already discussed in the previous time yeah change with the uh, smith smith is a name of the student uh, oops it's not there now check 
the student login page code behind when we click on the uh, where is a student yeah that is a student the name is Jacob Jacob so first of all sign in with the Jacob Jacob and username and password are the Jacob click on the login button when we click on the login button the code is run this connection is open command text is select a stick from student the old data of the student is retrieved and check one by one by the reader mm, that is there jacob at the rate of gmail.com this is the session value session email and rd of the student email student email is a column name which is exist in the student table ok in the same manner the man.master page contain session of email is double equals to null and not null the value of the session then display on the label ok remember again reader uh, read the table one by one read the row one by one in the forward only mode yeah there select the questions when we click on the select button the page is open by the select Uh, grid view is put and the place in the design window and create the template inside the grid view what is the exam panel exam panel actually work uh, first of all the all the whole grid view is bind so grid view is bind with the for each loop because with the each radio buttons grid view call the method con equals to new already be connection load data grid first of all grid is loaded so here we use select a command with where codes where subject id equals to session that is the when page is load the load grid is bind with the question table where subject id is at the rate of subject id where what is the subject id this when we enter after selection from the drop down menu ok where we store the subject id in the session in the select page of the student select subject in the student panel select a strict from question table and session that is the subject where is there that is there and when we button click after selection of the subject the drop down list one dot select a value inserted into the session of the subject key <coughs> then display when we click on the button after uh, submitted the question the each for each loop is run with the each row of the grid view grid view row row in the grid view one dot row so first first of all first row is traversed by the for each loop first of all get the question id from the label uh, label 1 l1 equals to row dot find control here is a row that is the first row because here we use for each loop then similarly again we get the radio buttons from the item template by this method row dot find control answer one as radio button similarly if a radio button is one checked then select number is one select number is two select number is three 
then after that call the check number method what is the check number with the one parameter that is the l1.txt what is the uh, which what value takes label that is the question id that is the unique id l1 that is the unique id of the questions then check number method is called with the question id select a strip from questions where question id is this question id is parameterized so qid if the select number is right then correct answer is incremented by 1 if answer is wrong then wrong answer is incremented by 1 okay similarly again the second row fetch by the grid view this method uh, this loop is traversed until the grid for all rows of the grid view after that result is stored into the result table by the save into the database method okay save database into the method here we use insert into result c in and p1 is a parameter of the correct answer and the p is a 